first. Typically a solution of 50-50 simple green and, and water. That's what I've got in this uh, little canister here. Or a purpose-made biodegradable chain cleaner is fine too. Um, so we've got this chain cleaning gadget. I believe this was something like $16 at MEC. Uh, it's from Filzer. There's another one made by Park Tool that I actually somewhat prefer because these these uh, little pins that hold the pulleys in can easily fall out and, look, and these, these can be removed. With our uh, citrus based degreaser to the fill line only. And in a perfect world, we're doing this out in the back alley or something. And that way, all the stuff that comes out of this and that will leak off of the lube when we're lubing the chain simply goes back to the road, right? So, in my humble opinion, if we give back what came from the road to the road, it's okay. And then if the other stuff's only biodegradable, no biggie. So one thing I didn't mention is uh, always do this on the middle ring in the front, just to make sure your chain has a little bit of slack in it. And somewhere in one of the middle rings in the back. So now we hold this thing, pedal backwards. I go about 30 times. If I'm feeling really OCD or if I have been through some actual mud, then I'll go 50 or 60 times, so 50 or 60 pedal strokes. For today, I'll go at least 30. So, one, two, three, nine, three. So now, um, I can already look at this and see a cleaner chain. It really is a money shot of this whole thing, <laughs> I would say. It truly is. I'll take uh, one of these well-used rag up, oh, and it looks like the issue I mentioned has happened. We left one of the pulleys right on here. Put that back away. Okay, so now I take my rag to wipe off the remaining uh, degreasing solution. Not just so we can see it, but because, you know, otherwise uh, we, we can't be relubing a chain that has the solvent or degreaser on it. We need it to be dry. So, you know, it's possible we could have got it cleaner than this, but we got it pretty clean, I'd say. Looks pretty good. Um, now, the other thing, too, you would take something like a toothbrush or um, a bike store will sell you essentially something that looks kind of like a toothbrush except the bristles are longer and much stiffer to, to essentially spray the same stuff on all your gears and then you hold the thing out there with the brush rubbing the gears and actually move the brush side to side on the gears while this after the solvent has been sitting on them for a while um, to try to break up some any of the grease and gunk that's hanging around up there right okay we'll take some of our lube got our natural lube here quite typically it says on on the bottle um, you know one drop per link and you know I, I don't have time to, to be dip, you know drip 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 I just go like this I know I do waste a little more lube but I'm done as soon as I've done three full pedal strokes there. Well, we've got a lot of lube dropping off this thing, so of course we want to uh, wipe off the excess. So you would just gently hold the rag here. Don't squeeze this like this. Just gently hold the rag around it so that your fingers are probably going something like this around the rag. You know, don't wipe, don't wipe it all off because that kind of wastes the whole point of what you just did. So we've still got a little more dripping here. Going like this, we're good more of it out between the minutes two. So there you go. So we've cleaned and lubed our chain. Any questions? Cool. Cool. Okay.